After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. a lot of the same people coming in. We have probably a 70, 80% recidivism rate. At nighttime, most of them are under the influence of alcohol. So they'll be depressed, or sometimes they want to get in a fight. But either way, it's our job to take care of them and make sure the facility runs safely. Relax. Hey, so we still play tennis? Yeah, we got, we got to play tennis and you get it, right? We got a match? All right, Kristen, I'm just going to search you. You got to rip me off every time I get some dope from you. Hey, I rip off your dope? Yeah. yeah. I want your dope? Every time I got dope when I come here, you hit on that side, John. Yeah? Give me some more. Relax. Give me some more. Relax. 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 Hey, Christopher, I'm worried about your safety. Uh, Do you have anything that a doctor sees you for? I like your slug. Thank you. Do I need to worry about you hurting yourself while you're here, Christopher? Uh, I hurt myself every day with these. Okay. He definitely should be close ops. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Okay. Christopher, we're going to go up to your knees, all right? Oh, oh yeah. Go ahead and stand up. I can't tell you the truth. There you go. All right, Christopher. Uh, you, you don't want to tell the rest of the story, huh? I'll get to the next one. All right. That's how it works. I want to race your voter. I want to race your voter. Any of you Mexicans want to put a point on me? I'm killing everyone in you. You're dead. 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 you Oh. You need to do exactly what the deputies tell you, and don't resist them. Or oh, it's the butter. Uh. Relax. All right, Kristen, need you to remain in this position. And do not get up until you hear this door shut. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Where? Right here. Right here. Where? Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. So what did the uh, arresting officer tell you about, Chris? Said the Reno Police Department's bike team went out on him, and he was had a brick, and he was going to throw it at little kids. And they pulled their guns out on him and almost shot him. I noticed when he came in that he was claiming that he was a victim. No, they said he might have been hallucinating or he might be under the influence of something. His charge is a minor one, intoxicated pedestrian in a roadway. He's fortunate that he didn't get charged with a much more serious crime, especially given the circumstances. We're going to go check on Chris right now. He came in combative and was very uncooperative early. We want to make sure he's doing all right and that there's no issues with him. Chris. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Want some water or something? Don't be rude to me. If I'm going to help you out, man, you got to be polite. 
Here, sit up so you can get a drink of water. How you feeling, man? Not so good. You just feel like sleeping and kicking back, yeah. Ah, remember where you were when you were picked up? On the ground. On the ground? What street? Remember? Yeah, yeah. downtown. Yeah, I think that's right. probably right. a good, good call. Whatever he may have been under the influence of seems to be wearing off. When he wakes up in the morning, day shift will probably take care of him, get him booked through, and uh, see if he qualifies for his own recognizance release. Because Sarasota is such a tropical climate, it tends to attract a lot of different people here coming down for the tourist season. Um, the heat generally adds another aspect to it where people are getting frustrated with the situation. They tend to, you know, have more domestic violences, more aggravated. They tend to drink a whole lot more. So it's one of those things that you never really know what you're going to get here. <laughs> OK, we're going to go out to Sally Port. Uh, supposedly, we got a combative coming in. So we're going to go out there and assist, make sure the officer's all good to go. So what, what was the issue tonight? The issue was he was urinating on the side of a building. OK. And he was resisting. Therefore, he hit his face on a picnic table and had to go get stitches. How you doing, sir? I know. OK, I, I understand that. I'm cool. OK, you're going to behave yourself, right? Yeah, dude, I've been arrested like 25 times. All right, come on out here. Watch your head getting out, sir. We're going to go right over here, OK? So what was going on? My girlfriend took my dog in my truck. Took your dog in your truck sounds like a country song. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about writing this song. Yeah. This is my favorite spot. Turn and face the wall. He said he's going to meet you tomorrow, too? Well, we play the same time, but this time I'm going to end up with a broken jaw. Michael, did you tell her that you, you would meet her tomorrow and she would end up with a broken jaw? No, I said, I'm going to talk to my sister tomorrow, and she's uh, going to get her well, jaw readjusted. You know. Oh, you're going to, so the deputy's going to get beat up tomorrow? No, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, because we don't play with that a whole lot. I'm just joking. I, I don't joke like that. <laughs> hey, sorry about that. I'm just drunk. No, no, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to take these handcuffs off. When I do, you're just going to have a seat right here. You upset me. You hurt my heart. I thought we were going to be good friends there, Michael. You guys are so nice to me. Every time I come in here, I've been here like 10 times. I'm, let me tell you, thank you. Can I ask you a question, sir? What? Why do you keep coming back? Good. Because... <laughs> I'm poor. You're poor? There's yeah. lots of people out there that don't have a lot. And I have no work, and life's getting crazy. Okay. So you're adding to your situation. So I come here to relax. This is your favorite hot spot? Hogwash. It's beautiful. It's like a vacation. I've never heard it called it a vacation. I love this. It's like a retirement home. A retirement home. Outstanding. You know what? You got on Tuesdays. <laughs> Turkey sandwiches. Turkey Love sandwiches. That, man. So did you get stitches tonight? Looks like your nose is a little bit swollen oh, there. You got some blood around the My lip. girlfriend, she took my dog in my truck, and this guy is going, dude, you got to go, and I'm like, whatever, dude. And so what happened was he hit me in the jaw, and then he's like, he thought oh, my jaw was kind of tough, but he hit my nose. Anyway, I was not abused by the police. I was abused by my girlfriend's boyfriend. So you got like a threes company dealio going on. Yeah, there. I'm just trying to figure this uh, Oprah stuff out. She got rid of your dog. You know, that, that doesn't sound like a very nice person. Why didn't you just walk away from the whole situation? Because I thought I was just going to go to jail so I could relax. You know what? The police are going to show up in like 10 minutes. I'm like, cool. I was thinking, if the police show up, I can like, at least I can get some food. I'm hungry. All right, Michael, step in here. To your left, to your left. We're going right over to the inmate shower. You got blood on your clothes. We're taking it yeah. off. Yeah, awesome, dude. So I look topped up. You, you look kind of so silly. So you know what? If I go to jail, 
Yeah. I'll look tough, right? All right, come on out. OK, let me be in charge for a little while. Step in here. We're going to go back and around over here. Right. You remember anything about this evening? No, the trick is, if you're intoxicated, you're Step like, over here. are you responsible? Yes. You're in the court of law? How? Right here. How? Intoxicated or not, you can be held responsible really? for threats you make. Yes, sir. So basically, you're saying when you're intoxicated, you think you can say and do whatever it's you cold, want? Uh, I'm insane. You're insane? Yeah. No, no. Alcohol does not cause insanity. So when we get out, what's some things we could do to make our lives a little bit better? Why do you care about me so much? Because it's my job, Michael. You don't think I took this job because I wanted to make snow cones, do you? Really? I like that. That's what I like about you. Well, I appreciate it. Now, Michael, do you think you can sit out here and behave? Yes, I can. OK. You're going to sit right here, and then I'm going to get you a mattress and a hot meal. Thank behave you. Behave yourself, Michael. All right, Michael was kind of interesting. He said he liked our turkey sandwiches so much, now he's going to get the opportunity to eat one this evening. So hopefully everything's taken care of and good to go for him. What's unique is the people. You have different styles, different personalities of individuals that come in to our system. One of the sayings that they say is keep Portland weird. And seeing these people come through our system, it really makes you realize what Portland's like. Surprise, surprise, surprise. It's like one hell of a party. Are you sick? Are you hurt? Yeah. Are you diabetic? Yeah. You feel like you want to hurt yourself? Yeah. OK. What happened? Drunk. Drunk? Medical. Can I have come take a look at this guy? He's got a nice little lump on his face there. So if, can have right? you check it for me? All right. Hey, Rick, look this way. Uh, you know. I got to check. Yeah, I'm I... fed. You're fed? Yes. I did not know that. It's made that very clear several times. What agency? DOE. DOE? Department of Education. What, what, what Energy. Energy. With? Energy? Yeah. I'm still cognizant. Did you lose consciousness? Not at all. Okay. How come you got one on each side here? Well, I was born with I was born with circles. Okay, but you got two two Ouch. injuries on both sides. I'm gonna get your blood pressure. I'm supposed to go back to my hotel. I don't have control of that. Where are you at? What's this place? <laughs> the worst place in my life. Which is Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, this place, where you're at. I am being accosted in. You're accosted, okay. Where is this? I don't, I don't know if it's no, a you're in jail. Is it That's county? Is it county? County, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you sound like you, you're with it. So, just I'm making a, sure. I'm a fed in county. Okay. Can I go? No, nope, hang on a second. Where are you from? California. Ah. What part? Southern. Ah. Oh. Why don't you come with me real quick? We're going to get you out of the outfit. I'm a fed, you guys. OK. What I need you to do is take that and that's So what was he doing? He was stumbling down the park. When he saw us, he decided to try to run down some stairs to a door that uh, is locked and doesn't really go anywhere. This is a staircase. Mm -hmm. He may have fallen down the stairs, for all I know. But uh, he went running down there and came running back up and He's stumbled into student? me. He's yeah. not a student. Not a student. Though? No, nothing. Yeah. I, I think I think he thought tonight was the red dress party. He's about a month off. Okay. Well, we'll see what we got with him. All right. Put your shoes on. I apologize. Period. All right. That's cool. So, would you at a party there? apparently had fun. Do you remember having fun? I do. OK, you got to let him do the fingerprints right now, man. This is your first time here? Mm -hmm. You're on record for anything? No. So I have to ask you, what made you put the red dress on? You don't know? No, I don't. That's what I'm asking you. OK, so I came here. I had no desire to put a red dress on. Every gay guy in the city put a red dress on. Oh, today? Is there a reason? Is there some I event going on? I, I hate gay guys. But I put one on, and it was just gay guy dress day. But you said you're not gay. Oh, I am totally gay. Yeah. Oh, you are? OK. I just want to make sure. OK. All right. So, so is that a national holiday? 
Mm -hmm. Maven. Or is it a Portland thing? It's, it's, it's a Portland thing. It's a Portland thing. I've never heard of it. I was just wondering. What hotel are you staying at? Are you staying at the Monaco? My friend Monaco. owns Monaco. Is that, what is that where you're staying at? He's the prince of Monaco. He reign. He's okay. the own. He owns Monaco. Do you remember where you were drinking at at all? I don't. But my friend is the prince of Monaco. So if you can buy me out of this, then I'll do it. So basically, you don't know how much alcohol you drank then. A lot of guys who drink everything. They were just giving you stuff to drink? They took control of the entire night. Did you get in a fight or something? No. OK. It sucks for me. OK. You can probably get released out of jail. Thank OK? You. Thank but you. you can't go back down to California. You're going to have court on Monday. You understand that? You have to go to court. All right? If you don't go to court, then I'm going to put a warrant out for your arrest. No, I'm a federal cop. I'm a fed. Oh, well, you, you just said you're a Department of Energy. So regardless of what's going on, you can go to court. I'll be there. So until then, sit with all the other guys. Sir. All right? Thank you. All right, go and have a seat. What was he saying? He's a federal cop? Department of Energy. That's not federal cop, it's the Department of Energy. Well, they have cops, too. They have 1801s. Oh, yeah. But I honestly, don't think he's a cop. Though. I don't either. So trespass? So they got my trespass. Federal cop from California and address. That'd be awesome. I've been with Washoe eight years. We usually have somewhere around 1,000 inmates at one time. Reno's a 24-hour city. Uh, we have a lot of stuff that goes on here um, 12 months out of the year. Um, and being the second largest city in, in Nevada, uh, and it's a gambling state, so we're pretty busy most of the time. What they bring me in for? Stolen vehicle. Hmm? Stolen. Stolen vehicle. Is this their, your first time in here? No, I came in like a few weeks ago. Again? All right, come on in. Come put your hands up. That time, I didn't even know this vehicle was stolen. Oh, Honestly, I didn't. But this time, I, I knew. Nice All right. Have a seat in the chair behind you, sir. Arms up and over the back. You have a warrant? What are you here for? Did you come in from the cop? Yeah, I tried. Today? I was going to say, yeah, you're a little dirty. Yeah, I tried until I seen that dog, and then I got down. Probably a smarter call, man. I'll just drag you back to the Be polite, be respectful, listen up for your last name. You'll get to use the phone in a little bit. OK? Come on. Look at the camera. I don't want you to move. It's going to hear it go click. <laughs> you have a seat over there in the brown chairs. The booking is going to be calling you up. Court service is going to be calling you up. Medical is going to be calling you up. And you need to get there, because if you miss it, you're going to be in here a while. Now you're in here with Big Boy. The real deal in here. You ain't like it. All right, go sit down. Now he's been in here twice for a stolen vehicle. Hard case. He's a tough kid. So Cody and Mark both got arrested for the possession of stolen motor vehicles. When I was talking to undercover guys, they said that they're wanted for about six. You talked to I talked Cody. to Mark. The funny part about it is his mom called the cops on him and told him. I think they're about to get a rude awakening. A rude awakening. Yeah, because they're little guys. They're going to have a hard time in prison. And that's where he's going. Both oh, yeah, both felonies. Get in the shot. What about you, Mark? You're still doing dope. If you if you really don't want to quit, say you don't want to quit. Nah. I quit for a little bit and then I don't know. My uncle was a dealer. He's been in Alley Hill his whole life. Is that where you want to be? I went through drug court. Yeah. Went through quests. I went through all that. <laughs> I mean, I know I can do it by myself. I just so why don't you choose not to. I had a choice of being a dealer. Could have made a lot of money for a short period of time or leaving town, so I took off and going to military. For me, that was a good choice. In your case, you got to get away from your society, your culture. Your friends are going to draw you back into it. you got to go somewhere and be yourself, get away from the stuff. Just think about it. When you're sitting in that cell and you got nothing else to think about, think about it. All right, gentlemen, listen up. When we walk around the hallways, we walk with our right shoulder to the walls. You grab your bucket, stand up.
step up. You should go stand by your cell door. Mark, his attitude seems to be he doesn't really care. He's enjoying what he's doing right now. He doesn't really have anything to motivate him to, to change what he's doing. Hopefully, we said something that would help him. I hope so. And they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight Another night in my street, another night in my hair Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight I'm gonna go home to my family tonight I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get about it Give me eyes, just give me eyes Oh, 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 o